Hey there, this is Stacy. Today I'm going to show you some things that I got from a subscriber of mine as well as some things that I purchased recently. Um, the first thing that I got was from QVC and it's the Laura Geller Baby Cakes Baked Eyeliner Palette and I had returned that Bobbi Brown foundation that I didn't care for <clears throat> excuse me and so I had a store credit so this is one of the things that I ordered it looks like that and I've really been liking my cake eyeliner from Laura Mercier and wanted some different colors and the Laura Mercier in the mahogany brown I just didn't care for it didn't give any uh, sort of color payoff um, not very pigmented so I wanted to try some others and so here's the colors and there's um, I guess this one's a dark blue a brown a black and a plum. So that's what those look like and they actually come with a fairly decent little brush. Obviously it's real little and you're not going to use it probably unless you're traveling but it's really um, a pretty decent quality brush, the angled eyeliner brush and I actually have used it even though I'm not traveling. Then another thing that I got um, I saw Debic one. Deb had shown this recently in one of her hauls and it's their Guerlain Terracotta um, Cold Kajal um, Black Frida Eyeliner and it's really a cute thing. It looks like this. Um, if I recall correctly it was pretty expensive um, as are all Guerlain products but I wanted to try this eyeliner because she really liked it and it looks like this and now my only concern that I was thinking about today when I put it on is how am I going to sharpen this and um, I guess I could look that up and see if they have a sharpener for this. I don't know. Obviously, you can use it a good amount of time, you know, while it's still pointy, but I don't know what you do when you get farther down. I guess you don't use it for long. <laughs> anyway, I do have it on today on my waterline, and I did have it on um, in my last video as well, and had gotten a lot of compliments on my makeup, and I'm not sure if that's what it was because I never ever wear liner on my waterline, um, and I really have been enjoying that. Here's another product that I got. Um, the Sally Hansen Salon Airbrush Legs. And I have the world's widest legs and I have the ugliest, ugliest age spots on my legs. Um, actually, when I was at the dermatologist's office the other day, she said, well, we can, I think she said, freeze them off. Um, she said, but then you risk the chance of having lighter spots there instead of darker spots. And I thought, well, I probably would prefer to have lighter spots than darker spots. So anyway, I got this, and I think I saw this in Lana, Indiana's um, video quite a while back. And she had shown it. I don't know if it was the same exact one or not, but I'm pretty sure it was a Sally Hansen one. And she had put it on, like, her neck and chest, and she showed that in a video, and she really liked it, and I thought it looked real pretty. And so I thought I'd try this. And the color I got is called Light Glow. It says Lead Makeup for Fair Skin Tones. And it's water resistant as well. I've already applied this two different times. And all I did was put it on with rubber gloves. Um, just put the rubber gloves on. You spray that into the gloves. And then you just rub it all over your legs. And um, let it dry. You know, I just let it dry while I was putting on my makeup. And put my clothes on. It didn't come off on my clothes at all. It gave a nice color, and the brown spots on my legs, because this is over it, it made my little brown spots, or big brown spots, appear small, or appear lighter. So I really liked this. Um, I even took a shower with this on, and intentionally didn't scrub my legs while I was in the shower. So it does say that it's water resistant, and so it did hold up to that. And then when I did want to take it off, I went ahead and used soap and water and just scrubbed up my legs and it was gone. Um, I did reapply it today. I'm going to sit back here and just attempt to show you what my legs sort of look like now. Obviously the lighting's not great, but um, you might be able to tell. I kind of look a little orange in here, but I'm, I don't think it looks orangey at all. But um, like my brown spots like this, it's normally pretty dark. And um, I think this helps. I do not ever, ever, ever wear shorts because I hate the spots on my legs. I always, in the summer even, I wear capris, jeans and whites and khakis and whatever, but I never, ever wear shorts. So hopefully that might give me a little more confidence. Then this is a product that I got, and this is actually just a sample size. I had ordered it on eBay, 
and it's from a company called Revision, and the product is called Nectifirm, N-E-C-T-I-F-I-R-M, and it says for firming the neck and neck and decollete for all skin types, like that. And I ordered just some samples on eBay because I wanted to try it before I went and ordered the full-size product. It just looks like that. It's a cream. You just rub it into your necklines um, and your neck, decollete, and I think you're supposed to massage up when you put it on. Anyway, I really like it. Um, I might actually order the full size of that one. So that's that. And then I received a gift from one of my really sweet subscribers. She remembered that I loved that Elizabeth Arden um, lip balm that I had ordered, or that I had shown recently, that I had gotten one of these boxes like this, the 8-hour, and it has a lip balm and as well as um, a cream protectant. I haven't actually used the protectant yet. I probably should try it. Um, but she sent me that because she saw it at her TJ Maxx, and it was the last one of the last ones they had, so she wanted to share that with me because she knew how much I liked it, and that product is not available anymore. So like I said, she asked if she could send that to me, and um, I said that'd be fine, and I'd send her something in return. And not only did she send me that, but she sent me a heck of a box of goodies, and I will show you. Um, actually, everything was all wrapped in just the cutest pink and purple um, tissue, and of course that's no longer on everything, but she sent me this Eve Pearl product, the High Definition um, Dual Foundation. I have not tried this. I had only tried a pro another product from Eve Pearl once before, and it was the Under Eye Concealer. That one I didn't care for, but I'm hoping I will love this one. Um, it just looks like that. It's just two different colors, and then it comes with a little makeup pad underneath there, or sponge. Um, need to give that a try. Then she sent me um, the Neutrodrina Makeup Remover Towelettes, just like a little um, travel size package. Then this is called Monica, and it is um, Vitamin E Skin Oil Soft Gels. I haven't tried those yet. I'm looking forward to trying those. I might try that later today. Um, some nail files, a pumice. And then the funny thing was I, I actually opened this box in the parking lot of the um, post office and there was this healthy hoof, hoof lacquer and it is um, obviously for your nails. And so it just says it's a high gloss protectant and when I had gone to the dermatologist the day before and had taken off all my polish and so I didn't have anything on and when I was literally sitting in the parking lot of the um, post office I put this on my toenails so at least they were a little shiny and not quite as ugly looking. Then she sent me the um, Revlon Polish in Perplex, which I just adore this color. I think it is such a pretty color for the toes. Then she sent me three hair products. The Nexus Comb Through Natural Finish, or Natural Hold Design and Finishing Mist. The um, S Salon Graphics Invisible Dry Shampoo, Dry Spray Shampoo. I haven't used that. I've never used any dry shampoo. I need to try that one. And then she sent me the nail dryer spray. I've only seen this, I guess, at the nail salons before. The nail enamel dryer from uh, Demert. So she sent me that, and her name is Sonata, and she does do videos, and I think her username is Makeup by Sonata, and I will put a link to her channel. Um, she's just a really sweet lady, and y'all should check her out. She um, has lived in the United States. I'm not sure how long. I don't recall. I had asked her. She's from, um, I think, from Macedonia over there. And um, anyway, she's real sweet. Um, please check out her channel. I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope you enjoyed my goodies here, and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.